This alien monster is the most powerful and the most expensive laptop I've ever reviewed. Let's review Alienware M18. This thing is packed with some serious power. Intel Core i9-4900HX processor and an RTX 4090 and 32GB of RAM up to 96GB. We are going to put it through its paces and see if it lives up to the hype. Let's start with the body and chassis design. This thing is undeniably premium. The build quality is fantastic. The design is aggressive and gamery and you can tell it's made for serious gaming but it's heavy like seriously heavy you are not going to be carrying this around casually it's actually a desktop replacement just look at these lines the robust hinge and the generous port selection six usb ports three of them usb type c two of these usb type c's are thunderbolt 4 and the other three usbs are usb type a which is great there is one mini display port and an hdmi which is great but the sd card slot placement is kind of weird and it shouldn't be on the back and also the rj45 at 5 gigabits per second is great but they placed it on the left so it's kind of weird and you can also plug your charging cable from the back with a 360 watt charging brick which is relatively small for its size i mean there is 300 watt chargers which is bigger than this one the materials feel solid and the overall aesthetic is classic alienware but again the weight it's a trade-off for the power and the cooling but prepared for a workout if you plan on moving it much it's definitely not a travel friendly machine and also the keyboard i know it is not cherry mx but it is one of the best chiclet keyboards i've ever seen it has perky rgb and i like it because it is full size and everything about it is just fine and i like it also you can change the rgb for the keyboard and alienware logos in the alienware command center also the trackpad is made out of glass and i like it there is no problem with that and i will give it a 9 out of 10 score for the body and chassis design but uh, i took one score just for the weight this laptop weighs around five kilos with the charger and it's not good because you should carry around your charger every time you go out because of battery life okay let's talk about the screen because this screen is just huge just look at it an 18 inch screen i like big screens but the laptops with 18 inch screen is just big but about the screen this is where things get a little underwhelming you'd expect a display to match the rest of the premium package but it's not quite there while it's a large 18 inch panel the color accuracy and brightness are just okay it's not bad it's not exceptional either for a machine this powerful i expect a display that would really make games and content pop is just adequate i mean just 315 needs of brightness for this laptop at this price range that's not enough and also 2.5k resolution is fine but 165 hertz is not for 4090 i can get more than 500 fps in most games and i can't even feel it in this screen i need at least 240 hertz but they went with the 165 hertz so i think i will give it a 7 out of 10 score for the screen okay let's talk about performance the main thing in this laptop this is where the alienware m18 truly shines with the core i9-14900hx processor and rtx 4090 with 16 gigabytes of ram and up to 175 watts of tgp this thing absolutely flies we are talking top tier gaming performance battery spot frame rates and the ability to handle anything you can throw at it let's take a look at some benchmarks like in cinemesh r23 we got more than 28,000 scores which is great or in cinemesh 2024 we got almost 1700 scores which is insane in multi-core and in single core we got 126 scores which is one of the best scores we've ever seen in cinemesh 2024 and for the gpu we got more than 22,000 scores which is great 
and also the GPU wattage is around 150 watts for the thing we tested and the CPU wattage was around 160 watts which is just insane. We also tested Geekbench in this laptop and we got almost 19,000 scores which is okay but I wanted to see more. We also tested Time Spy in this machine and we got uh, more than 21,500 scores which is good but it's a 4090 laptop and we could get more. We also tested Adobe applications in this laptop and we got uh, 3 minutes and 5 seconds render time in Adobe Premiere which is good i mean this is the best score i've ever seen in our test and in adobe after effects 2 we got 4 minutes and 25 seconds which is just good as for the upgradability i can say you can upgrade this laptop like hell a lot uh, you can upgrade the ssds with four ssd slots and it supports RAID 0 which is great it means we can get one of the best scores in this laptop and the scores we got is almost 13 gigabytes for the read and more than 11 gigabytes for the write which is just insane and also you can upgrade your RAM uh, up to 96 gigabytes which is good and the max frequency it supports is around 6000 mega transfer per second which is just good but this model right here has 32 GB of RAM at 5600 mega transfer per second. As you can see, the CPU and GPU are crushing it. We are getting incredible frame rates in demanding titles even at high setting. The cooling system is doing great. But I can say the fan noise is a little too high, but in performance mode it is acceptable and you can also turn on high performance mode via the keyboard, which is great and i think you should not play your games with this laptop always with overdrive but if you want the best of the best frames you can get in this laptop you should play in overdrive we tested some games in this laptop like cyberpunk 2077 and we tested this game in five different scenarios in ray tracing overdrive we got almost 60 fps in average which is just good with 2k resolution uh, in ray tracing ultra we got more than 80 fps in average in ultra we got more than 100 fps in ray tracing ultra with fsr3 frame generation we got more than 140 fps in average and in our customized mode called amin mode which is ray tracing ultra with no help from ai like dlss or fsr we got 40 fps which is a good number for raw performance of this laptop uh, we also tested rainbow six siege in four different scenarios ultra high low and fht plus as you can see on the screen the scores are incredibly high but i wanted to see better results and if you want to feel the performance unfortunately the screen can support it and you should buy an external monitor for this laptop so you can feel the performance we also tested valorant in this machine which is a cpu heavy type Title, but we got uh, more than 600 fps in this laptop which is good we also tested apex legends in this laptop and the scores are just lit uh, they are good but as you can see in almost all benchmarks and games you can get better results when the game is high demanding because the gpu is more powerful than the cpu and when you are lowering your presets uh, the performance may not be that great because you are giving the hard work to the CPU but when you are playing in high or ultra setting you are giving the hard work to the GPU which is the best for this laptop we also tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider in benchmark and we got good frame rates more than 160 fps which is great we also tested Wukong in FHD plus cinematic mode and we got more than 60 fps which is just insane I like this and we also tested Marvel Rivals I think you are played this and in Marvel Rivals 2 we got great results uh, Marvel Rivals is kind of a GPU heavy game I can say but it's an eSport title at the end I think this is the most powerful laptop you can get in any categories because it has big as heatsink on the back that can literally cool down anything it wants and it's just great to play with this laptop i just like it and it was just a good experience all i can say is i like the performance for this laptop and i will give it a 9 out of 10 why 9 out of 10 because 
the price is letting a little too high i mean you can get this kind of performance at 1000 or even 1500 bucks less but here it is it is alienware and you should pay the brand tax okay let's talk about speakers webcam and battery life the speakers are actually pretty good they are loud clear and have a decent amount of bass you can definitely enjoy your games and movies without needing external speakers so this is the webcam quality of alienware m18 i think it's a good webcam with a 1080p resolution and i like the quality here and also the wobble of a screen is so low that you can't even notice anything because it's a good uh, webcam and it has good hinge i like it what do you think about my quality tell us in the comments below okay let's talk about uh, our problem with this laptop battery life it's just not good honestly it's what you'd expect from a machine this powerful you'll be lucky to get a couple of hours of light use this is definitely a laptop that's meant to be plugged in we got almost 90 minutes of battery life in this laptop and it is not enough so what's the verdict on the alienware m18 it's a monster of a machine delivering incredible performance for gaming and content creation the build quality is top notch and the design is fantastic however it's incredibly heavy the screen is just average and the battery life is poor if you are looking for a desktop replacement and performance is your top priority the m18 is a fantastic choice and also you should have the budget but if you are looking for portability and better displays like oled or mini led displays you should uh, look elsewhere and buy other devices what i want to say is i like this laptop but it's not for me i like using this laptop i loved it but it's not made for me because i want portability what do you think about this laptop that's my opinion what do you think Tell us in the comments below and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!